Welcome back to another episode of OPH Outdoors and today we're going to be doing a little bit of something different. We're not actually going to go out fishing, we're not going to do really talk about anything fishing except what I use to film my fishing videos. Um, I see a lot of people ask on all these social media pages, hey, looking into getting filming some fishing videos or I'm wanting to film this type of video, what are you guys using, what's a good starter camera and stuff like that. So I don't have anything too expensive here and I figured I've got, it's good quality equipment that's going to last me a long time and it's going to do, take really good video. I just figured I'll go show you guys what all I carry and then I'll recommend some stuff here at the end of the video um, for if you're wanting to get into actually filming your fishing adventures. So with that being said, let's get into talking about what all I carry with me whenever I'm filming. All right, so the first thing that people think is they think they need a big camera. Now, I do have a camera. The one you guys are seeing it right on um, right now, we're seeing this video on. It is a Sony A6000, and it's just a stock body, and it's got a stock um, kit lens on it, which I believe it's the 1635 um, lens that comes on it. Let's see, it's 1650. So it's a 1650 lens on that, and yeah, so. That's the basic camera I'm using. Um, brand new, they're like 700 bucks or something, but I found it on, on Facebook, and you can get them for really anywhere between two or 300 bucks. But like I said, you do not need a camera like that. Um, actually, a lot of people, what they actually use, and it's one of the best ways how to film videos. Um, I had a video productions class in high school, and we had some cheap cameras at first, and everybody started uh, wondering when we were gonna get better cameras, and our video productions teacher was telling us like, well, like, you guys don't even realize it. She's like, you've got something that will film way better than any of these cameras and most cameras out there right in your pocket. And that is an iPhone. Now, I've got my normal iPhone right here that I use for anything, like all my personal stuff. But I bought this camera, or this iPhone. It's an iPhone 6S. I got it off of Facebook, and it was 40 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. I needed it for something else that you guys will see here in a minute. But I saw it, I'm like, hey, I'm like, I'll go get that. I'm like, it takes great video. It takes great pictures. Um, it's got decent audio on it. The only thing I don't like compared to my actual camera is my camera takes sound from both the left and right, right, right hand side of um, the camera and combines it together into one. So it's got a better audio track than what this has, but this still has decent audio on it. So it's got great camera, great audio, and it's great for getting into filming. So if you're wanting to do some type of blogging or vlogging, um, actually a lot of the times when I'm going like into stores and stuff, I use my phone. I'll use this phone when I don't have this because I just don't want to carry a big camera around. So it's a lot smaller. Sometimes if you think you're going to feel awkward going out and walking into a store with it, it's a lot better to walk into a store with and you don't feel as awkward carrying it around and filming yourself. So first thing, iPhone. But, like I said, the main camera I'm using is a Sony A6000 with a kit 1650 lens on it. Um, now, with that being said, let's get into what I carry in my camera bag at all times. So, inside my camera bag, when you first open it up, I've got it loaded. Um, first, I've got my chest strap. I actually had a GoPro one, but I lost it in the lake when I was on plane and I lost my GoPro in a lake too. So I got a new GoPro and I got a new um, chest mount. And actually this chest mount was nine bucks off of Amazon. Um, if you ever need any accessories to get started, they sell a huge pack of accessories for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And it's decent stuff. It's one of the ones right here that I have in my uh, hand. And I mean, this is a good chest mount. It works, it fits good around me. And yeah, I mean, I have no complaints about it. So I always have a chest mount on whenever you guys are watching my videos. Um, so yeah, on that chest mount, I have a GoPro Hero 3 Black. Um, I like the black because it has Pro Tune in it, so it's a lot easier for me to set to my exact settings that I want while I'm filming for certain um, like balances, exposures, um, certain video quality, frame rate, stuff like that. So that's why I like having this black compared to a, like a white like I used to have. So when I lost my GoPro Hero 3 white, I got this black, and it's great. I love it, it works good, um, it takes great video, it has good audio. You can get external mics that plug into here for really cheap, and they work really good too, and I'll go into that here later. But yeah, so 
there's the first thing that I use. Well, the second thing I use when I'm going out fishing, and that's my uh, chest mount with a GoPro Hero 3. This GoPro does not leave my chest mount. It's always on there, and you guys will see why here in a second. So next off, like I said, you'll see why here in a second. When, um, other than that GoPro, here I've got a GoPro Hero 7 White. Um, I got this, I found it for an extremely good deal on Facebook, so that's why I bought it. And so far I like it. It works good, um, it takes really good video, I like having the touch screen on the back of it, and it actually has good audio too, and it's completely waterproof for up to 30 feet in this current casing if I put back on my side um, plate. So this great camera, the only downside to it is the battery doesn't necessarily last too long if you have it on all the time. and. Really, that's about it. It's the only thing that really I don't like about this is the battery dies super fast. Um, but it takes good picture. It has pretty good audio on it. But it could be upgraded with a mic. But like I said, I'll talk about that here in a second. With that, I've got a cheap little tripod or one of these little uh, adjustable tripods. I bought it off Walmart's website. It was like 15 bucks or something. And I mean, this one, it isn't that great. It works like it should, but it breaks off pretty easily. So I've got to be careful when using it or else it'll break. Um, I got it just because I didn't have one at the time and I just wanted to get a cheap one to get started into using one. So there's the next thing we use and let's keep on moving. So next off in the bag, I've got GoPro chargers. I always have this charger with me because I always carry a power bank so I can charge my GoPro as I'm fishing. I also have for my Hero 3 Black, I've got a waterproof case just in case I need it. And then I also have a camera mount that goes onto any tripod. So, well not a camera, a phone mount that goes onto any tripod. So I can carry all of my um, cameras or my phones. I can adjust this for my iPhone. If I want to use my iPhone instead of an actual camera or a GoPro, I can put that on there, screw it onto a tripod, and it's good to go. So. Uh, other than that, I've just got some miscellaneous accessories for my GoPros sitting in there. Um, and then accessories for the next filming thing I'm going to show you here in a second. I actually don't know what that is. The last thing I have in this bag right here is up here I've got all my extra, well, my extra plate for my uh, Hero 8 or Hero 7 SD cards. I've got more SD cards in there, but I'm not going to pull them all out. So that's all I carry in this compartment. And there actually is one more compartment on here, but it has nothing in it right now except chargers. I have all my chargers. I've got another GoPro charger, battery. Um, well, there's a GoPro charger. This is a charger for my power banks that I have. And then this is for the battery and my camera. So that's what I carry in this compartment. And guys, here at the end, I'm gonna switch to filming on my um, iPhone just so I can actually show you how that filming on that is pretty good too and so you guys can see my actual camera setup that I have set up right there. Um, so now moving into the other accessories I have in here, the next thing that I just got not too long ago and I'm pretty excited to use it this year is a drone. I bought this and I found it for a really good deal on uh, Facebook and I've been looking for one so I figured I'll get one. So here this is a DJI Mavic Mini and I got it because you don't have to register it and it's a lot easier to store in my kayak and boat. So I got the fly more kit, which really all it is, it comes with this power bank to charge all my batteries and it comes with three batteries instead of two, or instead of one. Um, and then in this case that I always carry, I've got all my chargers, different accessories, um, extra parts for my drone. Um, got my remote, it folds down to this, it's really sweet. Got my adapter for my iPhone to the remote, um, a bunch of ex extra propellers, um, screwdrivers, stuff like that in here. And then I usually carry this iPhone in this case. I'll lay it right on top of my drone right here, just so I always have the iPhone whenever I'm out filming. And that's why I got this iPhone, is because with this, when I unfold my remote to put my iPhone in it, mine doesn't fit in the remote. So I got this little one, so I don't have a case on it, and it slides straight into the remote like that. So then I can ha always have an iPhone in the remote so I don't have to pull my case off every time I wanna fly. So yeah, after that, get to the actual drone. Um, this is actually the drone itself. It unfolds, which is why I really like it. Because it's compact. It takes up to 2.7K video at 60 frames per second. So it takes awesome video. Um, it's got a three-way gimbal, so no matter where you um, 
have, or no matter what you're doing with your uh, drone, going side to side, it's always going to be facing forward and it's always going to be level with the ground. So this thing's awesome so far. I've flown it on a few uh, different occasions. Um, actually in this video, right um, here in a second, I'll post a sample footage that I took with this so you guys can see the type of video that you'll get um, from this channel here soon. So real quick, before we move any farther, I'm going to put the sample footage I took and edited up right now. So hopefully you guys like that little bit of footage. Um, that was my real first time out there flying it pretty a pretty good distance away. I got up to like a quarter to a half mile away. Um, but yeah, I love the way it flew. I love the video it took. I think it took real cool video. And I can't wait to see what I can do with that drone here this summer when it gets warm out. I can't wait to take videos of me getting on plane on my boat, out fishing, getting some cool shots with it. And yeah, so hopefully you guys like that and you'll see a lot more of drone footage here this summer once it gets warmer out and I uh, can get out on the lake more and use this. So moving on from that, really the only other thing I've got um, is right here. This is my tripod. It's a tripod that we just had laying around the house from when my mom used to go film stuff. So I just kind of took over it here once I started filming and I'll use it every once in a while if I'm out filming on my boat or on my um, out in the driveway or something like that on my kayak. Um, and I'll take some like B-roll shots with it, or if I'm talking to the camera, I'll sometimes use this. But ever since I got the new uh, flexible tripod thing for my go or my camera that you guys are uh, sitting on right now, I really haven't used my tripod much at all. So yeah, real quick, we are going to switch over to my phone to um, talk about my camera that I have set up right there that you guys are seeing. All right, guys. So the entire thing that you guys have been watching so far. Um, I just switched to my iPhone. This is an iPhone 6, just so you can get an uh, idea of how the quality of the iPhones are when you're filming, so and how the audio is. So it's not bad audio. It's not bad uh, camera quality at all. Um, actually, I, what I started to use is I found an old um, lamp that I had in my room um, here when I was little, and for whenever I'm doing videos like this, I turn the lamp on behind the camera, and here, so you guys can see, I put that lamp back there to kind of give better lighting for whenever I'm filming these type of videos. So real quick, this is my camera a 6,000 that I'm going to be filming on soon. I am going to put a mic on top. There's a mic input there. Um, it has to be a Sony mic. I wanted a road mic, but this isn't compatible with a road mic. So I've got to get a Sony mic. And then I've got a Joby, um, flexible tripod on the bottom. And this thing's awesome. I mean, you can flex the legs however you need. And like I said, ever since I've got the, uh, ever since I've got this tripod, I've not used the actual tripod at all. So this thing's really been a great thing for me to get and I use it all the time and love it. So that's pretty much my setup. I've got a 64 gigabyte memory card in this capable of 4k video. I think it only takes 2.7 K video though, but I like having something that will, um, be good in case I get a 60 or a, um, a camera that films in 4k or so I always know I've got enough room on that card and always know it's capable of more than what this camera can do. So, <clears throat> so real quick, let's talk about what you guys can get 
to start getting into filming your own videos. First, chest mount. Chest mount like this, like I said earlier, I think it was like nine bucks on Amazon. You can get it in two days to your house right now um, off Amazon. So get a chest mount um, and that's really the best way to start filming. Next, get a GoPro Hero 3 Black. These, honestly, um, the more people you talk to, or if you talk to people that have been filming with GoPros for a long time, most of them say the Hero 3 Silver and Black and the Hero 4 Silver and Black are the best GoPros to come out and the best to use for uh, filming your fishing. And I highly agree. I like this Hero 7, but I love my Hero 3 the absolute best. Um, I use this more than I do my 7. The only thing I like about my Hero 7 is that it's got voice command. So that one's always set up in the back of my boat on my Yolo Tech power stick, or at least it will be this summer. So I can always, if I'm about to set the hook, I can be like, GoPro, start recording, and it'll record, and then I can set a hook to get that hook set on camera. So, yeah, look into a GoPro Hero 3. I got this GoPro Hero 3 Black with this case for $50 off of eBay. That's not bad at all. A lot of people starting up are saying they want to spend up to like 50 or up to 100 bucks. So get something cheap to see if they actually do it first. And I would say go to eBay, look at these. You can get refurbished ones, which are still really good for 40 bucks. I got this one for 50 bucks with the skeleton case right here. Um, and the skeleton case, all it is, is just this black case that's around my GoPro to hold it in the tripod. Um, so then I can get better audio quality instead of having the waterproof one. So Yeah, those are the two main things that I would say go get if you guys want to start filming videos for YouTube um, Other than that, like I said, you don't need the camera um, Just use an iPhone or whatever phone you have to do any of the other things that you're not doing with your GoPro And honestly, you can take a GoPro put it on a, something like this like one of these bendable tripods and film a vlog like that if you want so, like I said, you can get these for 15 bucks off or off at eight, or Walmart or at Walmart, or they're like 20 bucks at a Best Buy. So, yeah, those are the main things that I would say to go get. Get some type of flexible tripod, get a chest mount, and get a GoPro Hero 3 or equivalent. Um, you can get other budget ones at Walmart that are like 30, 40, 50 bucks, but for 50 bucks, the GoPro Hero 3 is going to outdo all of those. I've tried them before. So hopefully you guys like this video. Um, like I said, you guys can get started with all three of these things for under 70 bucks. Um, all three of these combined, it cost me less than 70 bucks to get. And that's not bad at all for somebody wanting to just get into filming YouTube videos. You aren't spending a huge amount to uh, start it. And yeah, until you start like really deciding you want to do it and do it a lot more and just like filming and stuff like that, I wouldn't suggest getting a drone or getting all of the camera stuff I've got in here. But um, always look on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and you'll find good deals. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Here this Sunday, I will be putting out a video talking about how I edit a video, and I will be showing you guys filming certain parts, showing you showing me put it on my laptop, and actually showing how I put it together to film stuff like this drone footage I made, or like some of the B-roll or some of the vlogging I do on my channel. So make sure you guys are tuned, tuned for that so you guys can check that out if you're interested, and that'll be up Sunday. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you out with how to get into uh, filming some YouTube videos for fishing. So we will see you in the next video.